Hello, my name is Bruno Davis, and I'm here to talk about oxygen and potassium combining to create potassium oxide. So, first of all, oxygen is in group 6, row 2, and its configuration is 2.6. Some physical things about oxygen, physical properties, is that it's colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Some chemo chemical things is that it supports combustion and that it combines with most elements. Now, potassium is group 1, is in group 1, row, row 4, configuration is 2.8.8.1. Some physical properties about it is that, one, its potassium, its melting point is 63.25 degrees Celsius, its boiling point is 76 degrees Celsius, and it's silvery, silvery white at that soft chemical things about it uh, properties is that its density is 0 0.856 and um, when it decompositions with in water it evolves hydrogen now the reason oxygen is in row 6 group 2 is that because the configuration the last number is 6 which means the number of valence electrons on uh, no electrons on the outer shell is six, so it goes in group, grow, group six because the groups go in by valence electrons. The reason it's in row two is because its configuration, it has its energy valence energy level is two because there are two numbers in the configuration. Now the reason potassium is group one, row four is because the last number is one, and it has four numbers in its configuration, so that means it has its valence energy level of 4. Now, these are the two diagrams. This is potassium, this is oxygen, and some differences b between them is that oxygen has 8 electrons, potassium has 19, oxygen has 8 protons, uh, potassium has 19, oxygen has 8 neutrons, but potassium has 20. Now, to talk about what happens when they combine, it combines combines um, potassium oxide. Potassium, potassium oxide's formula is K2O and its chemical equation is two, K2 plus O equals K2O. Now how this happens is K, K has one outer electron on its outer shell and oxygen has six. Now to create a full energy level you have to have eight valence electrons on uh, eight electrons on the outer shell and that's what they're trying to do when they combine is to create a, a full energy level so if you take one if you have two potassiums you can take one of the one on the outer shell add it to oxygen and take one from the other one and add it to oxygen which creates a full energy level of eight because it's electrons is eight but it creates a negative ion charge because it has two extra uh, electrons now by taking them away, potassium uh, turns into a positive charged ion. Now, the real, some real life uses, uses of uh, potassium oxide is that it's useful in clay products, advanced electronics, and it's lightweight structural, and it's useful in lightweight structural things in aerospace, like uh, tools that you could use. Thank you for listening to my project.